चैप्टर एट अक्षर ब्रह्म योग द योग ऑफ द इनडिस्ट्रक्टिबल एब्सोल्यूट श्री प्रभु जी सैड अर्जुन आस्ट अबाउट ब्रह्म द सुप्रीम सोल टेल मी ओ लॉर्ड डियर दउ आर द बेस्ट गुरु ऑफ ऑल वट आर द कर्म आदि भूत एंड अध्यात्म लेट मी नो ऑफ आदि दैव एंड ऑल्सो आदि यज्ञ हाउ गुड मैन फाइंड दी एट द आवर ऑफ डेथ पंडित वॉज हियरिंग प्रभु जी बाय होल्डिंग हिज ब्रेथ ब्रह्म इज एटर्नल द सुप्रीम सोल लॉर्ड ऑफ द क्रिएशन अध्यात्म द स्पिरिचुअलिज्म इज हिज बीइंग द ओन फॉर्म ऑफ पर्सन एक्शन ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग फोर्थ ऑल दैट सस्टेन्स लाइफ इज कर्म ऑल दैट ओरिजिनेट एंड पेरिश आर नेचर द आदि भूत द सोल और पुरुष इज आदि दैव ऑल्सो कॉल्ड जीवात्मा द हाइएस्ट इन एम्बॉडिड बींग्स आई एम आदि यज्ञ फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रह्म द गीता टेल्स his nature and karm as well brahm remains constant ever thus called indestructible know him the supreme soul nothing exists beyond him soul is said to be his nature for soul springs from him know his karma as well the entire creation he begets Whoever meditates him at the hour of death in god he sets Pandit raised an important point touching deeper wisdom what happens to those who never meditate brahma god said in last moments of life whatever is the state of intellect lord ascertains the fact to the same state they get those in oneness yukt meditate god with firm mind they set in him alone the supreme soul thus they find no form of the supreme soul the omniscient and eternal the master of the entire creation subtler than the subtle he bears and nourishes all the creator and destroyer as well unthinkable is his form like light of the sun he dwells the holiest purest joy giving beyond ignorance is brahm pandit asked for the way to meditate god and merge in him shri prabhu ji said the gita tells of meditation at the hour of death one must meditate with firm mind having at most faith concentrate mind fixing pranas between the eyebrows to realize the supreme soul the way lord shows restraining all the nine gates mind in hridaya held being fixed in perception of yog pranam set in head recite mantra om while remembering god in mind those who give up the body thus the supreme state they find note nine gates are two eyes two nostrils two ears mouth genitals and anus hridaya literally means central part in nerve sushumna nadi along the spine is called hridaya which houses six psychic nerve centers wherein psychic forces and bodily functions merge with and interact with each other yogis concentrate mind here raise pranas to sahasrar the 10th gate and attain divine experiences some people believe hridaya is the heart but heart is just a physical organ pumping blood in the body 
it has no spiritual significance. So, hurt in spiritual context must be understood as the Hirudeva. For details, see Shri Yoga Mahadevya Ramayana, Volume 6, Shiksha Khand. The state of mind in which one departs from here, one attains to the same state, one must be sure. Pandit said, My Lord, quite difficult this practice seems. Not possible for everyone. If there are no simpler means, Shri Prabhuji said, Here an easier way, with firm mind who meditate, and remember God always, they too attain the same state. Nothing else they think of, steadfastly stay in God alone. Never they return to the world, God, Brahma, they attain. All worlds below Brahma, subjected to ruin and recurrence, he who unites with him, Birth and death he transcends. Pandit said, My Lord dear, unique wisdom today I heard. How is the time counted in the Brahma world? Shri Prabhuji said, Time in Brahma world the Gita brings to light. A thousand yugas form its day, same duration forms a night. The creation exists during the day, in a night comes to extinction. Thus goes on the cycle of creation and dissolution. Brahm is beyond the creation, never ceases to exist. The eternal and unmanifest he is, the state of supreme bliss. By unalloyed devotion alone, the Supreme Soul one attains. He who reaches that state never to birth and death returns. One of the two states thus all men and women here get. One liberates from the world, the other brings back to birth. He who lives through Uttrayana never he returns again. Uttrayan is Sahasrara. Yogi departs from here alone. There exists infinite light of Brahma, the Supreme Soul. Yogi raises pranas to Sahasrara. In him he merges the soul. Centers below Sahasrara, Dakshinayan called. Devotee who departs from these returns to the world. A dim light one sees here. Like the hazy sky it remains. The two states, Shukla and Krishna. The Gita thus explains. Knowing these states, Yogi in earthly passions never strays. Remains steadfast in Yoga alone. In Uttrayana ever stays. The fruit attained by studying scriptures, charity and prayer. That is petty indeed, also ephemeral in nature. But that attained by yoga stands incomparable, the ultimate. Brahmalin state one who attains, called the most fortunate. In Samadhi of Uttarayana, for six months who remains, in Brahm one merges, the supreme bliss thus attains. Those in Samadhi of Dakshinayana, the lower region, the Gita ascertains the fact, to birth and death they return. Pandit said, O Lord, truth of Uttrayana and Dakshinayana I heard, remained strayed in the myth so far, in the jugglery of words. My Lord, quite hard seems this yoga to accomplish, I pray. To attain the supreme state, tell some simpler way. 
Shri Prabhuji said, The Gita is the scripture for common people, simple way people need, which makes the salvation possible. The Gita teaches various ways. The chapters ahead show the way of meditation easier for all to follow. Uttrayan means nadran or upper cerebrospinal centers in body. The supreme cerebral center, sahasrar and medulla, the agya chakra, etc. And dakshinayan are the southern centers like coccygeal center or muladhar chakra towards base of the spine. By concentrating mind on these, yogis attain divine experiences, the realization of soul and the supreme soul. Thus ends the Upanishad of the celestial song, the knowledge of God realization, the scripture of yoga, the dialogue between Lord Krishna and Arjun named Akshar Brahma Yoga, the yoga of the indestructible absolute.